Hi, my name's Anne Cabourn. I am 56 years of age and I helped co-found makeitandmendit.com. Make It and Mend It is a web resource. It shows people ways of making more with what they've got rather than buying new stuff, whether that's renovating an old chair, um, making last year's dress look um, really great this year, homemade jam, maybe a bit of Victoria sponge to go with it, doing household repairs, turning us more into participators in life rather than consumers of product. If you want something done, they always say, ask a busy woman. Well, there were four busy women. We'd all met uh, actually to do a, a bit of totally unconnected work together. And uh, afterwards, we treated ourselves to lunch and a bottle of wine. And one of the women involved in the project, a friend of mine called Claire Flynn, had just upholstered a chair. And it looked absolutely fantastic. So everybody was saying, well, how did you do it? Where did you get the stuffing? How did you pin the fabric in place? And two things came out of the conversation. One was, wouldn't it be really nice if there was a website just like ours where you could go and find this stuff out? but also where you could get into contact with other people like us and share ideas or say, hey, has anybody ever recovered a chair? Or what do you do if your strawberry jam doesn't set? And on the basis of that, by the following morning, we'd bought the URL for makeitandmendit.com. So that was great. So we had this website and people were coming. And then the, the kicker question was always, how do you make money from it? And it was kind of, we don't know. Uh, we know that people find making and mending really inspiring, that people want to do more of it. But how does that make a business? We all do this. We walk along the beach and we pick a seashell up and we put it in our pocket. They make great light pulls, you know, where you've got that sort of cord that comes down from the ceiling. What you need is some way of sticking the string into the shell. Okay, so I've come to the Make It Amendment website and I figured out how I can turn my seashell into a nice blind pull. But then I find out that this is actually the glue I need to use in order to do it. And then there's a link from our website to a shop, an online shop, where this is sold. Now it is possible to um, have business arrangements with commercial entities. So if you sell enough of these, this becomes a small income stream. We've got about 3,000 followers on Twitter now, 2,000 on Facebook, 2,000 people plus now are signed up to our newsletter on our website. We've got a large following in the US and also Australia and New Zealand. Yeah. And that's been really, really exciting and also really, really important because if we do go to somebody and say this is a business, they need to know, well, what's, what's in it? What's your traffic like? The way we work is uh, both uh, virtually and uh, together. We use Skype. We also have regular face-to-face -face meetings. We try and maintain those um, using the Make It Amend It ethos. So, for example, we'll have a full-day meeting. It's always broken by lunch. Lunch is always prepared.